rocket support for a conventional jet engine, a tailpipe, and the remainder of the jet reaction control system. On May 31st, 1951, the lightly tethered rig made the world's first free hovering jet flight by remote control. The test vehicle took on the shape of an airplane as a simulated delta wing was added and a crude cockpit was built atop the engine. In 1953, Ryan test pilot Pete Girard climbed aboard and made the world's first piloted hovering jet flight. The first X-13 VertiJet arrived at Edwards Air Force Flight Test Center in the fall of 1955. In more than 120 demonstration flights, the X-13 exhibited the precision and reliability of jet reaction controls and the Ryan developed automatic stabilization system so successfully that one observer referred to this demonstration as the VertiJet Ballet. In a spectacular public demonstration at the Pentagon in July 1957, the X-13 amazed civilians and experienced military observers alike with a full-cycle transitional flight. Another V-Soul concept, the deflected slipstream principle, was studied by Ryan and successfully demonstrated by the BZ-3RY vertiplane. Built by Ryan for the Army and the Office of Naval Research in the late 1950s, the vertiplane uses large retractable flaps to deflect the propeller slipstream downward to provide vertical lift for takeoff, hovering, and landing. The flaps are retracted for conventional horizontal flight. Recently unveiled, the XC-142A tilt wing transport is the world's largest vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. A three-company team effort, Ryan, Vought, and Hiller, the XC-142A is designed to carry 32 combat-ready troops or 8,000 pounds of cargo 200 to 300 miles at speeds up to 350 miles per hour. The wing can be tilted through an angle of 100 degrees, enabling the plane to take off and land vertically, hover, and even back up. Ryan's assignment in the XC-142A project is construction of the aft fuselage section, wing, empennage, and engine nacelles. Five tactical cargo aircraft are being fabricated for operational evaluation, the first such military program to reach this status. For short field takeoff and landing requirements, Ryan has developed an entirely new family of aerial vehicles utilizing flexible materials for aerodynamic support. The Ryan flex wing was tested in a manned test bed using a membrane of flexible plastic coated material attached to a keel and leading edge members to form an aero or V-shaped wing surface, offering an extremely lightweight, large aerodynamic lift surface. This vehicle evolved into the XV-8A fleet, a manned flying truck with a takeoff distance of less than 300 feet, a 1,000-pound payload capability, and a 100-mile range. 